Ben in Philadelphia writes to me and he says, all right, Paul, say you took only a small horizontal section, roughly one foot in height of the woofer and the tweeter sections of the IRS-5 and adapted it as a semi-point source speaker. Would this work or is it doomed since it doesn't have the full height of the original speaker to push that cylindrical wave of sound? Obviously, some of the magic would be lost, but is it still a sound idea, to make a pun, to have that vertical arrangement of drivers for a speaker only one or two foot tall? Well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what people do. So, just to, to explain, this, this is what's called a line source. And it's a tall floor to ceiling, essentially. Our ceilings are pretty high. But this row of drivers, all working in parallel, make a cylindrical waveform that comes out as a column and has great dispersion characteristics that sounds very natural. And the question is, if we took a one foot section, let's say some tweeters and uh, a mid-range, and we put it into a small box, would we get the same thing? No. But would it be doomed? No, because actually, that is very much the way a number of speakers work. And if you look, you'll find speakers that have multiple tweeters, multiple mid-ranges. In fact, the designer of the speaker, Arnie Nudell, um, for many years made various models of their Kappa series, of even his latest, uh, his last speaker design that he did, that has a row of tweeters. Now, what they did to turn it into a point source, because there's no way you're going to get a line source out of anything other than a line. But as he points out, could I get sort of a quasi point source? And here's what they do. So let's just say, just for argument's sake, because it's a little longer than a foot, but let's just say we have these three tweeters, okay? So what Arnie and others have done is that at lower frequencies, at the, at the frequency where these tweeters start to roll off and meet with the mid-range or the woofer in a smaller system, they are all working in parallel. As the frequency rises up, the, you can do it the bottom two or uh, the, the way he did it was the, the bottom and the top one start, have their own crossover network and they kind of go away so that at a certain frequency, only this speaker, this point source speaker, is playing. Does that make sense? So we have all three playing, and you get that low frequency of the tweeter, and then as the frequency rises up, these start going away, and we're left with only this single point source that mates perfectly with these, and then those mate perfectly with the woofer. So that's the way I've seen it done before, and I'm sure there's probably other ways of doing it. So, All right. I hope that answers your question. Thanks for asking it. Talk to you later, and good luck if you try that.